Welcome again to Vintage Farmhouse Antiques on YouTube and we're going to show you in this video this uh, very early example of felspar porcelain china probably made by Copeland and Garrett although we can't be absolutely certain because we've done a great deal of research on this piece uh, trying to identify the manufacturer from all the usual tricks that we, uh, we've shown you in our videos how to use and identify including the shapes, elements of the pattern, the overall design. There's not a single mark on any of the pieces we have coming through in this particular design. I think we've only got five or six pieces in total that we're listing. It's uh, dating from around 1820s through to around 1840s, made of porcelain, felspar porcelain. This is translucent. If you get a light behind it, you can actually see light penetrating through. I've you know, won't find that with the ironstone pieces which were being produced around the same period. Really deep rim base plate here, as you can see, lifting it high. Just look at the condition of the glaze. And I think it's in such good condition. Let me get it the right way up, which is obviously that way. Because it's shown some evidence of being in a plate rack at some time. There's a couple of little, you just see here where these marks, characteristic wear marks on the rim, where the plate rack hooks have just hooked round and it's moved or been taken down for cleaning over the uh, the centuries. And we are talking centuries with this thing. Uh, 1820 through to 1840, anywhere between 180 and 200 years old. Beautiful design. I mean, this is all hand-decorated enamels. This is palpable on the surface. So it's not been overglazed. This has been glazed, decorated and refired. So there is a little bit of wear on some bits of the, the decoration, as you can see but it's incredibly rare. We've been doing image searches on this repeatedly to try and get some matches, historic image searches as well, to see if any preserved pieces in this design have been listed. Now that's not unusual with hand painted pieces not to find a match because every single piece is slightly different due to the hand decoration that's been applied. So lens image searches tend to be more problematic than for transfer printed, which are you know, of a fixed set design, which is just mass produced. It's far more likely to get a match on a piece that's transfer printed as opposed to hand painted. But we we were unsuccessful even in uh, when we broke it down and did elements of this design. Looking at its manufacture, there weren't that many people making this type of wear around that period of time. And we think this is probably uh, produced by Copeland Garrett. Um, I can't be absolutely certain. It's just a feeling. It's just a feel. It's just the indents. It's the shape. We've also got a, a small source uh, terrain with lid. And again, the shapes on that are just characteristic of Copeland work around that period of time, which would later go on to become Spode uh, much, much later. But around these early periods of uh, the Felspar production, when it was just coming into mass production, and uh, being still hand painted, it's, it, it's putting all those elements together that gives you the clues in terms of where it was made, who by, and in what period. So, a fine example, all the measurements and dimensions are on the website. We've got this one, which is just over 13, I think, inches, and there's a slightly larger one that's coming online as well, and then a couple of soup bowls and some dessert plates and then the the sauce terrine as well. Beautiful things, very rare, very early, and fine examples in very, very good condition. The link description below will take you through to the website listing. Do have a, a search through on the website. Um, it's not an easy one to, to actually list. We've just put this down as antique and period-wise on the listing because we can't absolutely assign a manufacturer due to the complete lack of any research data that we've uh, successfully found on it. Thanks for watching.